Hello world, it's Chrissy again with a new video and I'm not gonna lie, this is literally my fourth try to film this video. Just because I was number one a little bit dumb and had some technical difficulties and number two I uh, was not capable of saying one complete English sentence. Like I mumbled all the time and just messed up all the time. Really my English got just so bad since I left school, it's unbelievable. So. Today's topic is how to learn a language. So there's various ways to learn a language. Number one is learning a language by imitating or just um, learning by doing. Basically that's how we learn, we all learned our first language. Number two would be attending a language school or a language course or even like a language course at school. And uh, number three would be learning by watching movies or reading books. Like that's not really learning from the beginning, you need some basic for that. But it's a very amazing way to improve your language very fast, especially when you watch a video or a movie and activate these subtitles in the language that you want to learn, you're probably going to improve very fast. Number four is learning by e-learning. Like I have an app for that, it's also available for browser and the app is called Bubble. So probably this video is not only really on how to learn a language, but my um, my experiences, that was the word I was searching for, my experiences with Bubble as I use it now for two and a half months, so let's say just three months, it's easier. So what exactly is Bubble? How do you pronounce it in, Eng in English anyways? So Bubble is an e-learning app and it's possible to learn 14 languages with it. So 14 languages are available, the common ones, English, Spanish, stuff like that, and 14 others. It is, compared to other methods of learning a language, pretty cheap, I guess. Like, I don't think that going to language school or anything like that would be cheap, but Bubble is cheap. The thing is, it is uh, 10 euros a month and if you subscribe for longer it just gets cheaper. So if you have a subscription for 12 months a complete year would be 60 euros meaning 5 euros per month. So that's pretty cheap and I know everyone who wants to learn language can afford that I guess. So now starting with the app. I can not show you everything because I have my microphone plugged in so I cannot I cannot let it speak and uh, do exercises with speaking and listening. So I'm just uh, gonna show you, this is my home page. It says um, beginner course number 3, um, lesson 10 out of 18. This, this is where I am right now. I actually haven't done something today, I should do that. So how do you work with this app? So um, just open the, the courses or chapters, whatever you want to call it. And you see there's, I don't know if you see, I hope I can zoom in in my editing software. There's some chapters, all divided in chapters and I am currently here. So I'm learning Spanish now with this app, but I also had Spanish at school for three years. But the thing is I was very, very bad at it, mostly because I'm very grammatically restricted. I don't know if you can say it like that, let's just say I'm very bad at grammar stuff, which wasn't a problem in the other languages I speak, like German, Dutch or English. I kind of have, I, I kind of have a feeling for how I should say things or if things are right or wrong the way I wrote or said them, but I completely miss that feeling when learning Spanish. Like not completely, it was more like a 50-50 thing. Something, sometimes it was right and sometimes it was wrong. So I was all in all not good at Spanish, but I got a quite good mark at the end because my pronunciation was pretty good and um, I learned the vocabulary, but all in all my, my grammar was just so bad. Like I, <laughs> I wrote a text and it was like completely marked red. My teacher like found thousands of mistakes, whole page full with annotations. Yeah, therefore just, just say I was not good. Now it's been like nearly a year since I left school and I, I started learning Spanish with this app because actually Spanish is a very beautiful language and I want to learn it. It's so easy when you speak Spanish, when you're traveling or at the internet. So 
it's it's a useful language I guess so I started learning with this app and I um, I ticked the option beginner you had the option to choose between beginner and advanced when you start that app and I chose beginner because I was so bad at it and it was a good choice let me say let me tell you it was a good choice so therefore I'm now at beginner course number three how do you learn with this app you have these courses or chapters and they have mostly around 20 lessons it's always like two lessons on a topic and then one repeating lesson two lessons on a topic and one repeating lesson most of the time and so you don't forget things you repeat them and that's a really good thing i've written down some advantages and disadvantages of the app right here that's what I'm going to tell you now after two and a half man months experience with Bubble. So as I said, it's good that everything you learn is repeated. Plus there is an extra repeating function integrated in this app. Um, like you see it, maybe you see it here in this corner. There is this thing and it shows 21. So it says 21 words or phrases that I should repeat. It's kind of an algorithm that just... Um, finds out what your um, weaknesses in this language are and you repeat them that often that they go away so so it's mostly like you see a word or sentence in your mother tongue you gotta repeat it in your head then click the button it shows you the answer and you click the right the the, the green button or the red button depending on if your answer was right or wrong and um, this way the app learns what your weaknesses are and what your strengths are and shows you um, what you should um, repeat more often. And I gotta say I love that function. It's really helpful. Other advantages are that you really, um, you, you're learning to write the language, you read the language, to speak and to listen. So the app can do all that and another thing that is good that you really use the language you're not only learning um, words or phrases you really they really made up dialogues that you gotta fill in so you learn how to use a word in a sentence i'm really getting stressed doing this english video sometimes i have that during my ger during filming my german videos but really thinking in english and at the same time making sure that i don't mumble stutter or mess up the sentence in an other way is very very difficult gotta say that <laughs> so disadvantages of this app i wrote down that um, the app focuses more on south american um, spanish rather than spanish that is spoken in spain um, so it's pretty much the same difference like uh, British English and American English. There's some words are different, the pronunciation is different. The app tells you from time to time like this word would be this in Spanish and if you would be in Spain you should rather pronounce it like that. But it focuses more on South American Spanish. It doesn't matter that much for me because honestly I don't want to get a doctor's degree in Spain. I, I just want to be able to, to talk and to write on, the, on a basic level. Next one, this next disadvantage is the accent. Uh, so you know in Spanish there's those accents sometimes above um, some letters of a word and uh, they tell you how to pronounce a word. And I gotta say my teacher in Spanish lesson was very, very focused on good pronunciation. He really put emphasis on that because he loved the, the Spanish language and pronunciation so much and we all had to learn it too. And I have to say I love it, I, I, I really learned to love the Spanish pronunciation. So it's a bit sad that they focus that much um, on it uh, in the app. It's basically like if you forget to add the accent above a word, it, the app automatically adds this accent without, without telling you basically. They just add it and doesn't matter word is counted as correct you've written it correct actually you didn't um, <clears throat> that that's a, a, a small just a small thing that I um, uh, I think it's a little bit sad and number three um, the thing that I think the disadvantage that I think that matters most is that sometimes things are explained too late sometimes you gotta use a grammatic rule before it's completely explained to you and that makes things difficult like I, I know them 
I, I, I know them because I attended Spanish course at school, so that makes things easier for me. But I think for beginners it would be a bit difficult. Like, I don't know, maybe I, I, I will do another update in a couple of months and when lessons get a little bit more difficult, maybe I will have problems with that or I don't. Maybe I can say a little more about that in a couple of months. So, and the last thing is an advantage and disadvantage at the same time. It really depends. Um, the thing that things are explained very short and simple. I guess you all know that sitting in school for a complete hour and the teacher talks and talks and talks and tries to explain something and actually doesn't really come to the point, to the conclusion or whatever. And um, that's the thing. It's not possible in this app. You cannot like have like such a long text like whatever it doesn't fit into the into the picture like you cannot um, write a text that is that long no one would read it and you really have to explain things short and simple and sometimes that's perfect i remember a lesson about a topic that i recently um, came across in this app about 45 minutes and i, I really i didn't understand this grammatic rule. As I said, I'm very, very bad at grammar, but this app just explained it to me two, in two sentences. Like, it took me like a minute to understand what my teacher um, failed to, um, fail to try to make me understand in 45 minutes. Probably that's because he tried to use like so many uh, grammar vocabulary that I don't get, like pronoun, adverb and whatever words that exist, I don't know them. I don't know them. I fail at grammar. So um, that's the thing um, that I love about this app. So all in all, I would say I would give this app anywhere between 8 and 9 points. Let's just say 8.5 out of 10 points. So really amazing. Um, I, I, I love it. I really love it. So that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope I could help you. Maybe you want to learn language too. Uh, I would say a bubble is a good thing. And I made it through this video. I'm so happy. I think I finally got a version of this video that I can actually work with. I'm so proud. <laughs> So I guess I'll see you in the next video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and write in the comments what I can improve on for my videos because I'm, I, feel like I'm, I, I feel like I'm getting better by time but I'm still kind of struggling with, with um, speaking English without totally messing up. It's really difficult. See you in the next video guys. Bye.